Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to the Jersey Guy Experience, episode three. We are at Wildwood, New Jersey on a very, very windy day. Crazy wind out here. And this place is dead right now, but it is getting ready not too much longer before this place is gonna be packed. Everyone's gonna be coming out here pretty soon once the weather gets a little warmer. Still pretty cold out here, but one of my favorite beaches and boardwalks to go on, Wildwood. And uh, yeah, again, very, very empty. So, hope you enjoy the scenery. Today, we are gonna be talking about Grimes. So, get ready. Let's go ahead and start everything up. I basically hate everything besides carbs and um, fat. Like, I, I actually dislike vegetables pointedly, but they're important to eat. It's just like vile, it's like broccoli, like what the f It's like actually disgusting. I don't know how anyone eats it. Um. <laughs> trying to actually get by the beach and have some video footage, but that wind is crazy. I couldn't hear myself talk, so I'm going to have to uh, shoot back over here. But anyway, all right, so let's get started with today's episode. What better artist to talk about for songs that should have been on the radio than Grimes? Talk about someone who should have been on the radio. Now, Grimes has a huge fan following, but let's put it this way. For who is ever out here now, I don't, okay, there's somebody out there. If I would stop any of these people out here and say, hey, what's your favorite Billy Joel song? Oh, uh, Uptown Girl. Hey, what's your favorite uh, Elton John song? Oh, uh, Candle in the Wind. Hey, what's your favorite Grimes song? I'm sure at most I'd probably get someone saying, oh, yeah, that girl that Elon Musk used to date? Oh, uh, I didn't know she made music. So this is definitely an artist that should have been on the radio. As far as me, my history, knowing about Grimes, I found out about Grimes in 2017. Uh, I used to have Spotify, I was listening to Enya Radio. And with Spotify, after an artist's song is done, or their album finishes, it plays a track by someone who sounds like that artist. And just like Enya, Grimes has a beautiful voice. I loved the song I heard, which was today's topic, Oblivion, which came out in 2012. I was actually mad. I was mad that I didn't hear this before 2017. I wish I could have been around with Grimes when she first started her musical career. So I actually haven't listened to commercial radio in a pretty long time. I want to say over six years at least. So I just wanted to pull up and just, just make sure that the radio stations in Philadelphia were not playing Grimes music. I looked at uh, the pop station, the alternative station, checked several stations around Philadelphia. I did not see any Grimes at all for two days worth of music that they've been playing. Funny enough, the alternative station were playing My Girl Lord, but her 2013 album, she had an album come out called Solar Power last year. Didn't see any tracks off that one but that's a different story for a different day. So let's begin with uh, Grimes. So Grimes has been the talk in the mainstream media ever since 2018 when she started dating Elon Musk, but her music has never gotten out there to anyone. Let's go ahead and make an exception. Since this is a music show, we usually only talk about the music on here, but let's talk about what made her so popular. Let's talk about her dating life. In 2007 through 2010, Grimes had an on-and-off relationship with Devin Welsh, then lead vocalist of Magical Clouds. The two met in 2007 at a first-year dorm party while studying at McGill University. From 2012 through 2018, Grimes was in a relationship with electronic musician Jamie Brooks, who supported her on the Visions Tour, performing as Elite Gymnastics. In 2018, Grimes began dating Elon Musk. They met on Twitter. On May 4th, 2020, she gave birth to their son, whom they named, and forgive me if I mispronounced this, Ash A12. The name violated the naming law in California, where the child was born, and was changed to, again, forgive me, X 
AEAX12. According to an image of the birth certificate, the letter X is the child's first name and AEAX12 is the middle name. He is Musk's seventh child. The couple semi separated in September of 2021. Their second child, a daughter nicknamed Y, was born December 2021. The parents are practicing gender neutral parenting. In March 2022, Grimes tweeted that she and Musk had broken up again. Quote, but he's my best friend and the love of my life. Grimes is now dating infamous leaker Chelsea Manning. The two are living together in Austin. Who is Chelsea Manning, you may ask? We got you right here at the Jersey Guy Experience. Chelsea Manning, or Bradley Edward Manning, is an American activist and whistleblower. She is a former United States Army soldier who was convicted by court martial in July 2013 of violations of the Espionage Act and other defenses after disclosing to the police nearly 750,000 classified or unclassified and sensitive military and diplomatic documents. She was in prison in 2010 until 2017 when her sentence was commuted. All right, now let's go ahead and get into the music. Grimes has six studio albums out and one remix album. Her last album that came out in 2020 has this amazing song called You'll Miss Me When I'm Not Around. Love the song. When I first heard it, no joke, I probably listened to it. 30 times in a row, just back to back, letting it go and repeat, repeat over and over. Such a good song. It's uh, Suicide from the Perspective of an Angel. Listen to these lyrics. This is how the song starts. I shot myself yesterday. Got to heaven anyway. I think I might regret it now. Tie my feet to rocks and drown. If you don't bleed, then you don't die. Cross my heart and hope to fly. If you like it, then you'll make it out alive. If they could see me now, smiling six feet underground, I'll tie my feet to rocks and drown. You'll miss me when I'm not around. Such a good song. I recommend anyone with Spotify, Apple Music to check it out. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into Grimes and talk about her musical history. Claire Elise Boucher, known professionally as Grimes, is a Canadian musician, singer, songwriter, and record producer. Her music has incorporated elements of various styles, including dream pop, electronic, R&B, and hip hop, while touching on science fiction and feminist themes. She has released five studio albums. Born and raised in Vancouver, Canada, Grimes began releasing music independently in the late 2000s, releasing two albums, Get Eye Primes and Hellfaxa in 2010. She signed with 4AD Records and rose to prominence with the release of her third album, Visions, in 2012. Visions includes the singles Genesis and Oblivion and have received the Canadian Music Industry Juno Award for Electronic Album of the Year. Following this, her fourth album, Art Angels, was released in 2015 and received critical praise as several publications named it the best album of the year. Her fifth album, which came out in 2020, which was titled Miss Anthropocene. Grimes has done the artwork for all her albums. Her art is influenced by Japanese anime, manga, and comic artists. Her illustrations have appeared in gallery shows. She created an alternative cover for the image comics The Wicked and the Divine. Grimes changed her name to C in 2018, which is a symbol for the speed of light. The song lyrics to Oblivion start off with Another walk about after dark It's my point of view If someone could break your neck Coming up behind you always coming You never have a clue I will look behind all the time I will wait forever Always look me straight Thank you for all the hours you wait See you on a dark night Grimes says in an interview I was assaulted And I had a really hard time engaging any type of relationship with men I was so terrified of men for a while. So in fact, the song is called Oblivion. It was her comedy and reflecting on herself. Starting this experience when it happened. Alright guys, are you ready to check out Grimes Oblivion? 
So before we get started, just a reminder, Saturday, April 9th, 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern Time, live stream with me, my friend Ray, and my friend Sarah. We're going to actually be talking about our favorite five songs from the 60s to now, so far, which is going to be really hard considering being such a music fan. Five? Got to narrow it down to five? Oh, man, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm working hard to try to figure it out. So, yeah, again, Saturday, April 9th, live stream, 7 to 9 p.m. We are also on social media, uh, Twitter and um, Instagram. And uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into Grimes Oblivion. Let me get my AirPods Max on. And I think we're good to go. Ah, love music festivals. Can't wait to get back into music festivals. Been a while since I went to a festival. Ah, cool. So this was in 2014. I know her budget is a little bigger now. This was uh, Grimes before she had the budget. Everybody's ready. She's got the dancers there too. She got the fan blown against her. Let's go, Grimes. This song has such a dreamy feel to it. Grimes, let the hair down. There she goes. Such a beautiful voice. Songs about violent assault. back to a festival again really bad. It's been a while. It's been a hot minute. Oh man, that looks so much fun. Who wants to go see Grimes with me? Whenever Grimes comes in the Philadelphia, New Jersey area, who wants to go see her with me? I'm down to see Grimes in concert. Everybody's having such a good time. Beat drop. Ah, look at them. Bring it back. Dude, that was there. I'd be jumping up and down. Yeah, 
that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, again, everybody's having so much fun. It's such a good time. Just loving life. Yeah, Grimes. So many people there, too. Back in 2014. Like I was saying in my intro video, or one of the earlier spots I was making in this video, I wish I knew Grimes in 2014. So, at least, at least I found out about her, but it's so annoying I had to wait so, wait so long to find out about Grimes. This is awesome. All right. That was Grimes Oblivion. Very cool. Back in, well, that footage was from 2014, but she came on that album in 2012. All right, guys. Well, as always, had such a blast doing this. What's the next one going to be? You're going to have to find out. So join with me next Thursday to see what the next songs that should have been on the radio will be. My name is Ronnie, and thank you so much again for joining me. And don't forget to click that like button and comment and subscribe. Bye.